friends, I am Dr. Jennifer Jacqueline Ravichanda. I finished my post-graduation in Forensic Medicine and Toxicology from Usmania Medical College. So this is a small video about the introduction of this new channel which I have started. So after a long time and thinking, now I thought it is a time that I have to start it because I want to share what I have learned from my mentors during my post-graduation. So I have divided four groups of people who the contents of this channel will be helpful for. So the first one is the second MBBS students who are the babies of the medicine field because the medicine curriculum has been revised. So we have to read forensic in both second and third MBBS, right? And next one is the third MBBS where we have to give the subjective examination where the topics will be simplified here. And the next will be the PG aspirants, a whole lot of chunk be it need PG, next or FMG. Like elders say, whatever life throws at us, we have to face it. You need to have all the things which you have learned in a sorted way so that you can face it coolly. So I will be providing you here with MCQs, the previous or the frequently asked questions in your INISET, need PG, FMG, all the competitive examination. And the last is a bonus group, which are the postgraduates who you know they are pursuing their speciality in forensic so that dissection videos and some small exercises which will be helpful for them and also for their undergraduates as well so these are the four broad groups of categories which i have divided because there's a whole lot of people who can benefit from the contents which i am posting so the ultimate motto is to make all the topics related to forensic in a very simplified way so there won't be any panic or stress around and for the aspirants, all the questions recently asked and most importantly, we ourselves can predict what questions, what are the possible questions that can be asked. So in that way, it will be helpful for us to face the examination without fear. So I would say forensic is a very sorted subject among the 19 subjects because there are lots of facts which we have to read and remember. So if we learn it in an interesting way, I think it's very easy. We needn't stress at all and we can just be calm and carefree when we appear for the exam and it helps us in gaining knowledge also. So I'm looking forward to meet you all in the upcoming videos. So let's have a happy learning.